So school's back in session across the country. And later this month, there is an event to support high education at historically black colleges and uni universities. Yeah, the United Negro College Fund is holding a walk for education to support HBCUs one step at a time. And joining us to talk more about this event, Laverne McCartney, King, uh, Knight, I should say, with UNCF. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Well, thank you for having me. So happy to be here. For people who are not familiar, tell us about this walk for education. What's going on? Well, I, UNCF Walk for Education is our second annual in this time frame. The walk has been a big, big event here in the Twin Cities up until 2008. For over 15 years, the walk was a much anticipated event, but it allows us to be able to really uh, support our HBCUs, mm -hmm. our historically black colleges mm -hmm. and universities, and the students who attend those, and, and in particular Minnesota students. So this walk helps us to raise funds, and more so now because of the recent um, Supreme Court ruling, right. um, we certainly need these funds more than ever because there will be so much more of a burden on some of our HBCU as students are making decisions to attend. So this walk helps us to raise those much needed and critical funds uh, to support them and their efforts in attending those schools. Can you talk about that a little more specifically about UNCF's mission and how they do uh, support the HBCUs? Yeah, we are the largest and oldest minority um, institution that provides scholarships. Yeah. So through walks like this, scholarships are able to be provided, students who have needs, mm -hmm. students who have um, strong academic backgrounds. Our, UN, our HBCUs really give our students the kind of access that they need and that this country needs for us to have a more economic, uh, by economically viable community. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know about this walk because my parents went to HBCUs, right? Mm -hmm. So we've talked about this walk several times. This is just one walk happening across the country. This walk yes. happens all across the country. Right. Uh, these walks, uh, this walk is one of 23 across the nation and we started August 12th in uh, Milwaukee and we will end uh, in February in Tampa. So everyone in each market and we're one of 24 area offices here in Minnesota, uh, Minneapolis and Twin Cities. So our walk is scheduled for Saturday, September 23rd. Other walks are scheduled this Saturday, September 16th. So from now until February, we'll have many walks on Saturdays mm -hmm. throughout, mm -hmm. uh, depending on the market, depending on you know the, the climate and temperature. Mm -hmm. So yeah. <laughs> you know, we're fortunate to be able to get ours in on September 23rd in partnership with the Lakeview Terrace Farmers Market, which oh, will cool. end on September 23rd um, for the season. Right. And as you may or may not know, that is one of the only black uh, owned farmers, farmers market markets. here in Minnesota mm -hmm. out of the 373. So we're fortunate to partner with Shea Sandifer of new MPLS. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, last year we, we started the walk again after a long hiatus and um, we were able to get some good traction. And this year we're still reigniting re and reinvigorating our community to come out and support us in the walk. Well, you know Shay's going to get you. <laughs> and I'll yeah. tell you that yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> you mentioned the recent Supreme Court rulings, uh, affirmative action one, of course, mm -hmm. and, and you know, the discussion about student debt, which we know are very important issues to students of color. Tell right. us how those changes are really going to affect uh, the UNCF and HBCUs. I think it, you know, uh, certainly a reason for concern. We're already um, doing what we can to support students across the nation, but with this recent Supreme Court ruling and student debt, mm -hmm. we anticipate that there will be more students turning to HBCU mm -hmm. to really um, further their education to right. get to and through college, and we want to be prepared and able to do that. Uh, enrollment will certainly go up. Mm -hmm. we're, we're certain of that. Mm -hmm. Can the HBCUs right now handle that influx I of students? I think they can. Okay. Uh, with the support like institutions right. uh, like UNCF, mm -hmm. we are able to provide that unrestricted infrastructure support that they need. We help those colleges get the, what they need in IT support in um, you know, uh, construction right. support, those things that help them remain viable mm -hmm. and to be able to really give our students the best education that they need. Mm -hmm. For the event that's coming up, give us the details about it. Do you need tickets? How, how, do, how can people get involved? All right. 
At, first of all, we need you to register. Uh, yeah. We have a registration fee of $30 per person. We invite individuals, companies, uh, church groups, uh, sororities and fraternities, and those are our typical uh, audience mm -hmm. uh, and participants who really support us in a big way. So we are calling all of those organizations and those groups to really uh, ramp up your involvement, register, build a team, uh, join a team. We have teams already formed on our website, and you can go to uncf.org slash Twin Cities Walk. Mm -hmm. That's a mouthful. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, uncf.org slash Twin Cities Walk to uh, register and uh, really come out and support us. Again, at Lakeview Terrace Farmers Market, which is in Robbinsdale, across from High V, mm -hmm. if you are familiar with that area. Uh, and also, um, we want to be able to have people register on site right. that morning if mm -hmm. they want to. The registration starts at 8 a.m. and the walk starts at 9 o'clock. So we'll have a little fitness. Uh, workout routine before yeah. we uh, uh, get started that morning. We'll have a DJ. Yeah. We have vendors and uh, food and lots of activities for people to just come out and be a part of a great cause. You know, mm -hmm. have some fun and support a good cause. For anyone who can't necessarily go to the walk that's happening on the 23rd, are there other ways that they can get involved? Yes, mm -hmm. uh, thank you for reminding me of that. We certainly invite you to donate online at uncf.org slash uh, Twin Cities Walk in, on that site as mm -hmm. well as our website, uncf.org uh, slash Minneapolis. So we certainly will take donations. We're at, even if you want to um, join us in, in, a, in a sponsorship kind of way, we mm -hmm. do have sponsorships available, which are online also. So certainly want people to register and involve themselves with our team because it's a great morning and we really want to bring this walk back to the level that it was right. prior to 2008 mm -hmm. where we had thousands of people hey. showing up. Wow. Last year being the first time after the long hiatus, we had a little under 200, mm -hmm. so this year we're going we're to do it. Work our way up. Yeah. We're going to work our way back up. Yeah, right. I mean it's a win-win. You, you get go. a, you yeah. get a good exercise yeah. and donate to a good cause. Yeah, and it's just uh, right out of 5K, so right. not a, a, a long walk. It's not terrible. Mm -hmm. No, this, this you is can do doable. It. You can this do it with your kids. You can do that one. Exactly. All exactly. right, Miss Laverne, thank you so much for being with us today. We appreciate it. Yeah. Cool start when you step out.